After 13 years serving women in Oklahoma, Jordan's Crossing will be closing its doors. There's something about that place that um, that lives are changed, and so to have been able to be a part of it and to continue to be a part of it, so um, devastated that this is coming to an end. Jordan's Crossing is a residential substance abuse treatment facility for women. We called it mom school. You know, that's what we told our kids we were in mom school, and and that's essentially what it is. You're you're. You're gaining back a family. This was an email sent to employees at the end of January, notifying them they'll be closing within 60 to 90 days. The executive director telling me the decision came down to funding. It's a funding issue for residential treatment. It's too low. I mean, you talk to any residential provider in the state and they'll tell you the same thing. The program is a private not for profit that contracts with the state funded through Medicaid. While Jordan's cross closing. They say no staff is being laid off and they'll be moved to other locations and they will be finishing out patient treatment. I said from the minute I talked to staff, first priority is the clinical treatment of these women and we want to see them through their treatment if at all possible. The largest part of this is that this is one of the only facilities where you can take your children and people that go to Jordan's Crossing get their children placed with them. Stephanie Fitzenmeyer graduated from their program in 2015 and says overall it changed her life. I would have um, have a motherless child, you know, that would be in the system. And, and I know that that will be the case for a lot of people.